What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. I saw a video with this with this this cat out here. Uh, that that Freddie Roach train, Blair Cobb, saying all saying all kind of disrespectful stuff about Spence, saying that he don't see the killer in his eyes and no more, and uh, he cursed and all this whole goofy shit. Yo, man, this dude. Now I don't blame him because I, I I know he probably trying to get a big fight with somebody, you know. Uh, so maybe that's why he, you know, he coming out here with all that without with all that sucker shit. But and I don't know. I think I've seen him fight. He not he not a horrible fighter, you know. I mean, he he he, he like he got some skills. I don't think he could beat uh, Errol Spence. I, I don't even think he got a chance with him. But for him to say that Spence ain't the same. What this dude don't understand, man, uh, Earl Spence had a near-death experience when he had that car accident. You know, he, he know he could have easily been died in that moment. And once you get through some shit like that, truly, and you understand that you're here for a bigger reason, he don't he, he don't have to uh, make get all animated and, and, and talk crazy in these press conferences because truth be told, the dudes who talking all that shit be the ones losing most of the time. If, if you want to just keep this shit 100. I done seen too many times. Cat come out there popping all that corn and then get get whooped in a fight. So Spence is, he just not, he just staying himself. He always been a a, a laid back dude until he get in the ring. Uh, but it's, it's, it's real bogus for him to sit up there and say what, you know, the man diminished or... He, he, you know, he ain't got it no more. That, that's crazy. Shit. He just, after he fought Danny Garcia, in my opinion, he looked phenomenal when he, his first fight uh, back the last time. And this time, I think it's going to be even worse because he only had a detached retina. And, you know, like I say, when you go through certain stuff in life, you see life a little different than other people. Uh, I, can, I can speak to that. I had a wreck on a Greyhound bus when I was like 16 to 17 years old and like the bus driver and a couple of people died that was on the bus, man. And, and then a little bit after that, I started, you know, a couple of years after that, I found that I had cancer and I done had two major surgeries, radiation. I've been through a lot of shit in my life. And when you go through stuff like that, and, and that's why a guy like that, man, we ain't working off no fear. Spence ain't gonna have no fear about shit in that ring. You know, all he gotta do is be in shape. He gonna be more ferocious than ever because a, a, a detached retina losing a fight, shit like that ain't nothing to that man no more. But I don't think I don't think he will lose for a while. I think he I think this shit make you hungry all over again. You know, it make you hungry all over again. I remember when I, when I when I got sick. When I had an operation like at 97, you know, at that time I was making probably more money than I ever made in my life, man, out there in the street. And then overnight, it all got took from me basically because I got sick and didn't get out the hospital and couldn't walk for a couple of years. I was so fucked up behind this this cancer shit, you know, and I had to spend my time fighting through that. And that's when you know it make you know about money too because all that money I had. I would have gave up every dime just to get out that hospital bed and walk around like everybody else. And it made me appreciate life differently. Uh, God do things for a reason. And it, when, when, when people been through stuff like that, trust me, dog, uh, ain't no fear in this man. That man hungry as a motherfucker. Uh, it, it's only going to be a better Spence, in my opinion. Like I say, just because the shit he been through now is going to make him much stronger, much hungrier, and no that you, where he might have would have worried about a detached retina man he ain't gonna be thinking about that shit he gonna stand on his business man I think he gonna knock this boy out uh, but dude out here popping corn I don't think he, he really don't know what he talking about apparently he ain't been through no shit like that in his life so that's what make him say a stupid ass statement like that not calling him stupid but the statement he made was you know uh, but but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.